Hey guys, it's Tom and welcome to today's travel vlog. We're just going to be all about Toronto in Ontario, Canada. It's my third day here and I decided to use my last day in town to walk around downtown Toronto, Old Town Toronto, and check out its food scene. I heard the food scene here is absolutely beautiful and you guys know how much I love to eat and discover new foods. So I can't wait to show you all the food and the restaurants and the vibe and culture of of Toronto. Stay tuned, especially if you've only got a day in Toronto. It'll be cool if you watch this because it'll give you some nice tips on what you can see around town. It's Labor Day today, so I hope things are still open. Beautiful, bright, sunny day. I think I'm gonna get a bit of a tan too, so that's a plus. <laughs> so let's go and let's check out downtown Toronto in Canada. So I'm gonna have a quick brunch at this really cool breakfast place called Expectations. Did you understand that little joke? Expectations? <laughs> so I really really feel like a huge breakfast because I didn't really eat much last night when I got back from Niagara Falls. Let's check it out. I've seen some really good reviews on TripAdvisor. So let's check out Expectations. <laughs> opted to remove the potatoes because I didn't really I want to save some space so I want to eat them all later. Luckily they have an option where you can remove all of the potatoes that come with the omelette and you can have fresh fruit with it for an extra three dollars forty five. So that's what I did. And the fruits look really fresh and amazing. Check it out. Guys, have you ever tried this Coke Life? I've seen it around forever, but I only realize now that it's got cane sugar and stevia because I love Coke. I know it's naughty, but let's try it actually. I'm really curious. It just tastes like Coke. <laughs> but I guess it's a healthier version. So we're here in Market Street, St. Lawrence Market, and it's the number one food market in the world, but unfortunately, I can't show it to you guys because it's closed today. It's a public holiday. I'm so disappointed that we can't go inside and try a few other things, but I've got a backup plan, so um, stay tuned a bit longer. I'm gonna show you some other really cool food places around Toronto, but if you are here, Google first if St. Lawrence Market's open because this is supposed to be the number one food market in the world, especially if you're a foodie like me, come here when you're in downtown Toronto. So we're here at the St. James Cathedral. Here in Toronto, it was made in the early 1800s. Let's check out the inside, looks pretty cool. I can see through the opening through here. But it's gonna look amazing, let's check it out. So I wanted to pop by one of the supermarkets and get some really, really yummy maple syrup. 
The best place to get it is in a supermarket, not in a souvenir shop, so let's try and get a really nice locally made maple syrup to bring back home. Just walking down into Kensington Market, basically you can come here for some drinks and food, you can even get souvenirs, clothes, so let's see what it's all about. So we're in Koreatown here in Toronto and I just wanted to show you guys how diverse the, the food culture is here in Toronto. So we ordered a few things and we're having some soju after all the walking today. I can't wait to show you guys what I ordered. So this is topoki, which is spicy rice cake and army soup. Oh, just been hiking all the way up from downtown up to the hilly parts of Toronto because I wanted to show you a really cool castle in the middle of downtown. So this is Casa Loma. Casa Loma was built in the early 1900s and it's been a really popular fixture in Toronto. A lot of tourists come here just to check it out. A lot of movies have also been filmed here. Can you imagine X-Men was filmed right here? You can also go inside for a tour. I don't have too much time to go inside for a tour right now. I just wanted to show you guys that there is a castle in Toronto. So when you are in Toronto, this is actually a really cool place to visit. And if you've got the extra time, do the tour. You can actually walk. It's about a 30 minute walk north of downtown Toronto. Let's see this amazing gothic inspired architecture. Really wish I could go inside but it's a public holiday today. It doesn't seem to be open but I was taking a peek through the door right there and it looks super interesting. Apparently the escape room is a really cool thing to look at. If you are going to go inside, make sure you check out the escape room. downtown Young Street. This is the most central part of Toronto. So we're here at the Eden Centre right behind me which is a huge mall here in downtown Toronto. We're gonna go inside. I'm gonna you know check out some sales. I think it's like Labor Day sales today and I want to probably grab something too from um, Roots. It's a local Canadian brand here. But yeah this is a pretty buzzing place. Probably re reminiscent of Times Square in a sense with all the LED signage around here. Pretty cool. So I'm back in the hotel now guys and I've got an amazing view from my room. I'm just watching the sunset. One of my most favorite things to do ever. But yeah, Toronto, beautiful, beautiful city. Beautiful concrete jungle with a lot of culture, history and stories that make up this city. I was only here for two days, but you know what? I really, really want to come back. 
It has just this buzz about it. It's a huge melting pot of cultures and you can clearly see that through its food just by walking on the streets. Everyone is from a different part of the world and I love that. I love that because you can learn so much from different people here. I'm lucky as well that I'm here for the summertime. I know how crazy the winters can get. It can get up to minus 15, 20 degrees and I can't even imagine how cold that is coming from Australia. For me, cold is already 15 degrees, plus 15 degrees. <laughs> so I can't even imagine it being in the minus. But summertime, I definitely come back again. There's so much museums and other parts of Toronto that you can explore. But in one day, I hope you guys got an idea of what you can get up to. I smashed 25,000 steps today. So if you followed what I did and go to all the sites that I showed you earlier, then you'll have a lot of excuses to have a cheat meal for dinner at the end of the day. <laughs> hope you guys enjoy Toronto and I hope you guys like my travel vlog today. If you do like it, head down to my channel. You might see another city that you're heading down to and I'll be able to give you some tips there and until then I hope you watch my next travel vlog I've got a lot of really cool cities and countries that you might be interested in watching so do hang out for that so until my next travel vlog take care and I'll see you all next time